Jules fans, welcome back to another episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It's Saturday afternoon, we're inside a rapidly filling up Freesfield Stadium for Gillingham against Mansfield Town in what is a second versus third clash in Sky Bet League 2. Boz, team loses in, two changes this week. Yeah, very yeah, it's a big bonus and also another bonus is George Lapsley is fit enough for the bench so the Jules team in form is Jake Turner in goal. It's that familiar back four of Charles Alexander, Connor Masterson, Shad Ovi and Scott Malone. It will be Ethan Coleman and the captain, Sean Williams, tasked with protecting said back four. And then it is Johnny Williams, Dom Jeffries and Connor Mahoney flanking a lone front man, Macaulay Bond. So, a very positive lineup for me. Yeah. I've seen some picks on Twitter that say that if you're not playing two up top, that you're not being positive. But that's three attacking midfielders on the centre forward there. I think they go 4 3 1 2, but yeah, usually. But it looks like it might only be eight teams. We've not looked at their full team, but it should be a good game. Yeah. No, we've had like Harrogate and Atkinson have come and sat in and almost part of the bus a little bit and it's been up to us to break them down. So I know I don't like to compare league football and, and cup football, but I think this might have a Southampton type vibe to it where they try and play and hopefully we'll have more gaps to exploit and then the legs and the pace of Mahoney and Jeffries will come to the fore. Madison, Nichols, yeah, George Lapsley. Um, and in terms of score prediction. I think it's 3-0, so it'd be very juiced. Hearts says 1-0, so I'll go wrong. I think Hearts should have been 3-0, Hedge should have been 1-0, but we know what you mean, and I'm going 1-1 each as well. 14-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
15, Aaron Lewis, 24, Lewis Grant, 25, Lewis Green, 40, Davis, Keeler, Dunn. about Mansfield here, literally the first 15 seconds, which we, Jake Turner's done hard to punch out, but yeah, Sir Alexander just looked like he lost his bearings, didn't he? Yeah, a long ball from centre, and yeah, he ended it, headed it out tamely for a corner, but luckily Jules was defending the top end. Ethan Coleman can break the other way here, though. Well, oh, he's giving it away. Neil Turner Jules! The man that called him on is up and running! All ball from Mansfield's point of view! Colin Mahoney pitches in, squares to the front end! Who puts us in front? Who comes 45, Marconi! He's nearly two. Brilliant from Jules again. Great ball from John Jeffries. Marconi by an instinctive finish. Pim's made a brilliant save. Spin away from his man and he's brought down unceremoniously on the edge of the box. It's going to be Mahoney left for it. Referee's whistle's just gone. Flat one. Where's that gone? Oh! oh! Connor Masterson blasted over from about six yards. Stadium. It's currently Gillingham 1, Mansfield Town 1. I'm not sure. Well, I'm, I'm absolutely fucking lost in Scotland and how that equalising goal has been allowed to stand. Just while we're waiting for the. We're talking about um, the score draw at half time. We're waiting for the crossbar challenge. Just to say once again, the FBFL Gillingham guilty of failure control of using racist and sexist language. This was last season against Colchester, Wimbledon and Ray Sutton. And we have been fined £12,500. So please 
do not indulge in any of this. No, Malone wasn't booked for protesting the goal. Malone was then booked afterwards because the referee didn't let us take it for three chances. It's ridiculous. But one thing is zero tolerance towards any manner of discriminatory. The referee had an absolute break sight for about five minutes, and it's massively cost us. So to sum it up as quickly as possible. Ethan Coleman challenges their player middle of the, middle of the pitch in our half. I, I didn't think it was a foul. Was so then they pick the ball up. Referee then calls Ethan Coleman over yeah, so to book him. So Ethan Coleman's now not in the game because he's walked to the referee. Yeah. Mansfield we have our cross ball challenge today. Um, yeah, their player um, goes through. It's one on one. Slots it under Turner. Tickets. Somehow the referee's just allowed it to stand. Now we've just seen a tweet that says if the referee calls a player over to caution them, that caution has to be sanctioned before the game can restart. So the referee has massively dropped one, and it's it's changed both teams' team talks. And we, we we spent a minute and a half talking about this. We should be talking about a really positive deal. Now we could have been two 0 up. So uh, it's going to be Matt first. He's going to see up the referee's whistle, but maybe not. Bond falls to good save. So three goals. Until then, absolutely nothing. And again, unfortunately, we're sat here talking about absolutely inept officials. So that's second goal there. That wasn't far away. Congratulations, you won two hospitality tickets. So now we've got Joshua and Machin. Uh, bigger than it should have been. Well, Joshua Machin is the second goal should leave was first time they broke on us probably in probably the whole game aside from that goal I'm not sure it is off balance but let's put it wide of the post yeah it's off balance luckily but that's the warning isn't it that, and this game started this second half very open first five minutes Would have had more of it last 10 minutes, boys. Throwing, Shay Alexander, long one. On the flick, where's that going? Mm, it's been cleared. That's a great touch. Jules are suddenly in trouble. It's Jaden Carter having a boot for tracking back. He's done really well to be fair. Jaden Carter sent him back over.
Tennis Hall is 6, Bird in 6, 6,586, it's happening for them. Jules are at home next Saturday to MK Johns and to everyone who is travelling. Don't forget if you're done by coach, you can pick up the coach at Williams Road. Just walking back to the car, having left the ground, it finished today between Gillingham and Mansfield Town, one apiece, would be top, stocky, Boz, if it wasn't for, I'm not going to call him the ref, I'm going to call him the man in the middle, um, said it at half time, I'll say it again, simply one of the most inept phases of officiating I've ever seen in all my years watching football, it didn't unfortunately, no and again, like Stocky said at half time, we're going to be talking about him for the rest of the weekend and not what was generally a very good performance. Thoughts, gentlemen? Yeah, second half was a very open end-to-end -end game. Um, wasn't good for the nerves, was it? It wasn't good for the nerves <laughs> at all. Uh, we might as well just carry on with the man in the middle, like you said, personally thought. Uh, they should have been down to 10 as well. Madison has outdone him for pace and he's just had a swipe at him. He hasn't even gone for the ball. He's literally just, just tried to kick him, him off the pitch, yeah. And for me, that's a red card fence, obviously. Just deemed a yellow by the man in the middle. But He's had one swipe at him already. He just weren't quick enough to get there. That's why this goes for two yards, because he's made two yellow card fences. It's gone through, it's gone down the back of his ankle first. Yeah, and then just absolutely up. wiped him out. In terms of the second half, boys, though, the football, very open, but probably they had the better chances, I think. Yeah, you I two think did not hit the nerves, I enjoyed it. The first I think time if, you're a, if you're a neutral, if you're a Oh, yeah, if you're neutral, it's a brilliant game, game, yeah. That's a, that's a really good game. Football. Yeah, and there's loads of talking points, yeah. Things like that, but for me, it was, it was too nervy. I'd rather be a bit more conservative. And I think you're right, they did have the better chances second half. Thing, but I think the big one was for Lewis, wasn't it, that um, he flashed wide and then Jake Turner come out and managed to get a big hand and everyone in the rain event started cheering and I just delayed because I thought we'd probably give a penalty such was the performance of him but overall do we think the draw was fair? Uh, minutes, yeah. yeah I think just about I think maybe we slightly edged it just based on the first 35 minutes but I think the second half you could probably argue hey just about edged it so take the point and run take the point yeah I would have taken the point beforehand but based on how the first 35 went and then the reason why the whole game changed it yeah, does, that's it. It does, it does leave a bit of taste drops. in the mouth. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's frustrating. Tasty, yeah. But we proved that we can go toe to toe with the best in this division. We will be back Sunday evening for match day review to look back on all the talking points. But until next time, up the jewels.